I don't want the government to hear me. Aliens are real. Let me repeat. Aliens are real. The universe is huge. Humans can't be the only being in the universe. Many UFO sightings have been sighted throughout history, and many of them have been in the United States. In 2017, there were overall 4,665 sightings in America. In ancient times, there have been sightings of UFOs. In ancient Egypt, there are hieroglyphs that show alien spaceships. There are also cave paintings that seem extraterrestrial. In this picture, it seems that the people in this drawing don't seem human. This picture was drawn in the Sago, Ca Sago Canyon 7,500 years ago. This picture is drawn in New York's cave in France. It is estimated to be drawn sometime between 13,000 BC and 10,000 BC. This picture looks like a spacecraft from a different world. This picture was drawn way before UFOs were popular. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, there were many UFO sightings. Here are some. On July 3rd, 1960, Captain Neota was driving near Villa General Belgrano at 4.30 p.m. when he saw something unusual hovering, hovering near the ground to the right of the road. On July 28th, 1952, George Stock was working in his yard when he took a picture of this flying saucer. These pictures were taken at 7.30 p.m. on June 5th, 1955. The witness said that the UFO was moving fast without a sound. This picture was taken by a test pilot in September of 1957. The UFO seems to be following the airplane. This picture was taken at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. This picture was taken on November 23, 1951. This picture was taken on a mountain road near Riverside, California. The witness said that he saw a flying saucer above the skyline. Aliens became popular after the summer of 1947 when the Roswell UFO crash happened. One day around Independence Day, a rancher found metal debris scattered across his sheep field. The witness said that he saw heavy, glossy paper-like material and metallic sticks. In the debris field, there was a disc-shaped object. He also saw a non-humanoid being in the debris field. The rancher's ranch was about 75 miles away from the town of Roswell, New Mexico. The witness called a sheriff from Roswell to look at the debris, and the sheriff called the nearby army base to look at the debris. The army base took away all the debris and brought it back to the base. At first, the government said it was an alien spacecraft. Then the government later denied it and said it was a weather balloon. Still to this day, we do not have confirmation of what it was. Throughout history, there have been accounts of alien abductions. The most common aliens are the greys. They are named for the unique skin color. They are three to four feet tall. They play on your mind to manipulate you and do mind control. They do operation, operation and surgeries on people when they are abducted. There are Pleiadians, which are nicer, and they are, they are more human-like and more evolved. They tend to care about the future of Earth. There are symptoms of being abducted. Lost time, don't remember days or hours. Sleepwalking, ringing ears, when you walk by electronics, they do weird stuff. The TV turns off, the sound goes weird, can't control watches because the battery will break, even street lights will go weird. Nose bleeds or sinus infections, psychic abilities, having a feeling of being watched, and having unexplained scars. Many people have been woken up by blinding lights in their windows, smelled a bad smell, and then woke up the next morning with a weird feeling, and then had all or some of these symptoms. Some even regularly remember being on the ship. And then there are others who don't remember anything and then one day have these symptoms. Do these symptoms sound familiar? Maybe you have been abducted by aliens.